ka tangi te titi, ka tangi te kaka, ka tangi oki ahau, tihei Māori ora. Tua tahi me wehi ki te atua, nāna nei ngā mea katoa, tua rua, te whare tū nei, te marae e hora nei tēnā kōrua. Ki te hau kei ngō tēnei whenua, kei te mihi, kei te mihi, kei te mihi. Ki ngā tini ai tua, haere ki te pō. Ki a tātou e hunga ora, tēnā tātou katoa. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Ko Silinga Teva se tonga tōku ingoa, i tupu ake i tamaki makaurau, ko Hamoa, Niwe, te iwi, ko te moana nui a kiwa, te moana. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Tāla whalawa, my name is Ilinga Davis Itonga. And before I start, I want to acknowledge this whenua and the traditional owners, Tangata Whenua. This house we are all in. And most importantly, I want to acknowledge all you here in the room and those watching this on a live feed. Welcome, uh, um, who we have here? Uh, South Central LA. Um, nah, any kid. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, so so my my when I was asked to um, to to give a presentation, I thought I'd um, I'd, I'd sort of just go on um, and talk about my practice. So uh, here goes. We have a new boy in our class, children. Can you tell us your name? Hello, my name is Silinga David Sitonga. Everyone say hello to Selina. It's Silinga, miss. Oh, sorry, Selina? Silinga. Selina. No, it's Silinga. Oh, we'll just call you David then. <laughs> um, so this was a, a, a blackboard piece that um, it, was, it was part of three that, that was part of Home AKL. And I always, for me growing up, um, I always looked at that, that, that idea of, of whether... Um, I am privileged enough to, to have my, my name read out correctly. Um, and it's, I, I think it's, it was done, um, it sort of mimics that sort of first day of school trying to introduce yourself. I went to Mangafell Primary in, um, in Mount Eden. Very, very Balangi school. There was about um, probably, I'd say about 10, in the, 10 uh, darkies in the whole school. Um, and half of those were my, was my sister and, and the rest of my cousins. <laughs> um, and so like it was, it was but it's, it's, you know, it's really prevalent now. It's, it's NRL, the NRL, the, 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 the rugby league competition, our Pacific names are, are completely misread all the time. And I'm, and I'm thinking, bro, come on, we gotta, we gotta, you know, um, not to beg the, the Aussies and that, but um, you know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we just need to stand up for ourselves, and and, and I think it's it's also prevalent now because there's a, there's a debate um, whether we uh, name our, our state highway um, after Maori names, and you know, and that's still sort of ongoing. And so for me, this 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 was about um, fighting for my name. Um, when in the 1980s, when Roots came out. There's a scene on, uh, which is about um, sort of um, slavery in America, and there's a there's a there's, there's a there's a scene there where Kunta Kinte is getting whipped because he refuses to to accept the slave name. Um, so this sort of stems from that. And the irony is, when that movie came out, all us darkies would would, would run around school calling each other Kunta Kinte. <laughs> so I was like, you know, one of those piss take things. Um, my art practice is based around um, sort of saying something, you know, that, that idea of, of, of making your mark, uh, representing where you come from, but also acknowledging um, where you are in this time and space. Um, when I was doing my, my masters, I, I, I sort of looked at um, Jacques Lacan's theory of, of identity and the idea that um, our our identities aren't self-defined. We are um, who we are in relation to an existing other. That idea that um, I may see myself as Samoan, but in my passport, 
um, under nationality, I'm New Zealand. Um, so for me, it was, it was always that grappling, that, that, that space between, and trying to find my, my sort of my way in that space. Uh, this was, I think it was, yeah, 1986 this came out. Um, I think it's a manual to, to let all the um, people in Aotearoa um, know that the Samoans are coming. Um, but it was, you know, it, 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 it was a social studies, uh, very, you know, um, sort of 1980s sort of rhetoric. We, we are love lovers, we go to church. But it was, um, I, I found it at a, um, at a, what do you call it, a garage sale. I thought, fuck, that's quite cool, man. Eh? Anyway, back to um, the being defined by the pre-existing other. Um, I've always had this play between um, how I see myself and also how I am also seen by, you know, um, uh, within this sort of space um, that I live in and, and work in. And I love playing that, that, that sort of, that, that game between, uh, you know, surprising people. Um, this sort of sat on our wall for years when I was growing up and I was, I was, it wasn't until later on that, that I, I, I really questioned what I was doing in our house and how, um, <laughs> how, how, how Māoris were, you know, how, how we, were, we were, you know, um, we were seeing like, um, you know, um, the people of this land, the beautification of it, um, and also that idea that, um, uh, you know, in, in some instances our cultures are celebrated, but then other instances, you know, we get begged. Um, and I think, well, one thing that comes to mind is, is the rock doing the, the, the haka on um, Fast and Furious, which is really cringeworthy, and then, you know, um, I think, I think knowing that my, my mate who was doing his OE um, in the UK said that the Kiwis would sing Tu Te Ramanga Iwi, you know, and that was their, their sort of like their bonding because we all sang it at primary school. Um, but it was always that play that in some instances we get back and in some instances we, 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 we hold our culture on a pedestal. Um, so it also, you know, still back onto perception. Um, so this, this, this work, for me, it, it, it's called um, Okifa Kama Samuolo, which means um, cut your hair like a true Samoan boy. And it was always this, 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 this discussion between my father. I, I, my, my father was a, a, a minister, and um, he'd always, you know, he expected me to be the, um, be the sort of the, the poster boy, you know, of, of his mission. Um, but, you know, I'd, I'd always remind him that, you know, I'm sure like about 2,000 years ago, there was a guy that was born in the, in the Middle East who, you know, came to save us and, and our sins, you know, um, that I wasn't that guy. Um, <laughs> but he was like, um, it, so, so there was always this space between, um, so the, the bottom, you're right, bottom right is the way my dad saw my, saw, you know, me as his son, but the top left was how I saw myself. So it was always that, that space in between, trying to figure out where um, I, could, I could sort of uh, place myself. Uh, my dad got off the boat in uh, 1961, pre the independence, so he, he, he came and um, Samoa was still sort of run by, um, by New Zealand. Um, got off the boat, SS Matua, and straight down to Tokoroa. Uh, worked in the mills, and everyone I talked to um, who lived in that, that time in that space said that um, Tokoroa and Putaruru were boom towns, you know. You had like, um, he was coming in from a space where they wouldn't even get, get a sniff at 10 shillings to being able to make some real serious money, drive some real, you know, neat cars. Um, and, but but, but in, 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 in sort of coming here and finding that success, um, the power base was always home. You know, resources were always sent home. So the, the, the hand sort of referenced the, the Godfather um, logo, the, the, the puppet master, um, holding a map of Samoa. 
So it was, it was uh, more sort of controlling all our decision making, all what we worked for. Um, and I think there was, there was two sort of types of Pacific Islanders who, who, um, who, who landed here. Um, one group would say, okay, we're in New Zealand, uh, we're going to do the white thing, we just, do, we just speak English to our kids. And then the other um, bunch were very staunch about not losing their culture. And so I was in that, that bunch. Um, I was smacked if I, um, if I spoke English um, at home, because um, my mum, um, she learned from the coloniser. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, it, but it was, just, it was always, she, she knew, my parents knew that um, we needed to uphold our values and our, and, our, and our systems within our household for us to sort of um, cling on to that. And so that a lot of my work is, is sort of based around that idea. Um, so this is our, um, our school fair. Um, at the end of the year, they, 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 they'd have a dress up and probably all the brownies in the whole school are in these two photos. Um, but um, it's, it's, uh, I said to mum, I came back on Friday and I said, mum, we've got a um, fancy dress on tomorrow. She goes, um, okay, what do you, you know, what, what do you want? I said, oh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind, I, you know, um, I'll go whatever. Um, and she made me this, um, this, this rocket man suit. Um, she's now employed at uh, Witter Studios in Wellington. Uh, I think they picked her up on her design skills. And, but for me, it was just like that whole idea of making do, you know, just, just, just whatever we had around the house. Um, and it was... Man, that's, that's the coolest suit out. So thank you, Mum. But I think the attitude, you know, every, everything that I was sort of, I think this girl in the pink sort of sums up the, the, what everyone else in the school was thinking. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I think that's where my, um, my, my sort of fetish for um, cardboard boxes come from. Um, so I have, a, I have a huge collection of um, cardboard boxes. And I've always loved that, that, that idea between what was on the cardboard box represents what, was, um, what it carried, um, had those issues of, um, of trust, had those issues of, you know, um, sort of brand promise. And I, I, I really, um, for me, it was, it was uh, I, I just loved that, that, that whole idea between um, what was on the outside uh, connected to what was on the inside and making that correlation between um, the identities we carry, we show, we present. Um, you guys know this guy? Trust for the space. Da -dum -dum. Um, anyway, this <laughs> dirty can't. Um, so, so it was, it was for, for me, it was, it was, so the next um, 120 slides are cardboard boxes. <laughs> Um, I, 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 I immediately grabbed this one. I, I was just looking up, you know, garage sales, pick stuff up here and there. And I grabbed this one and I, and I took it home and then I, I, I picked it up because I thought it said dedicated. <laughs> uh, English is my second language. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was, it was just it was always that continual play on um, representation, um, and just the ideas that, you know, uh, were presented. And I made that, yeah, I made that correlation between who I thought, or I saw myself as a, uh, as a Samoan, Nuean in, in Aotearoa. Um, and then I started looking at labels as a way of um, communicating um, sort of ideas of, of, of identity. Um, I started up a, a, a t-shirt label at uh, the Otara Flea Market. So um, I took um, six years to do a four-year degree. And after that, that six years, my mom goes to me, Charles, you're, you're, you know, you're, um, you got your degree now, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to go sell t-shirts at the Otara Flea Market. <laughs> she didn't find that funny. Eh? She was like, no, you can't. You know, you've, you've, you've worked this hard. And I think the other thing is with, with Polynesians is 
the way we are seen by the group also dictates, you know, our value in, 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 our, in our space. And I think she sort of like, didn't like that idea that I was a degree holder and that I was going to, to sell stuff at the market. But so, I, you know, for me, I was, I was looking at, um, um, again, representation. Um, and I loved using um, sort of uh, pre-existing, um, you know, brands, real um, stuff that we see every day that we sort of like, that pollute our minds. Um, and then um, I, I, I then did a, did got invited to present some work for uh, Samoa Contemporary. Um, and this was an uh, influenza box, or oh, uh, Enza sort of um, apple and pear board. Um, so it re references the uh, Spanish influenza that wiped out 25% uh, of our population in 1918. Uh, my grandfather was, uh, he, he, he died from the influenza, um, but when the, the um, when the people got there, because the, everyone who died were, were sort of wheeled out to the roads, and then they were collected, and then all taken to a mass grave. But um, when the officials turned up, uh, my grandmother was still feeding my um was pretending to feed my grandfather soup. So they turned up and they said, yeah, yeah, how is he, he's all right? Um, she was like, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's all right, he's just having a little rest, I've just had given him some soup. Uh, he'd already passed for the part, you know, he was, he was gone four hours ago. So we managed to hold on to his body, and we buried, uh, he's buried at the back of our, um, our family plot in, uh, in Vailua. Um, but there's a mass grave in two sites, Mangyangi and, um, uh, what's the other one? Um, which, which, and I'm, I'm not sure to the state whether they have a, um, a plaque there for those souls. Um, and so this, you know, these, these two works, um, that I sort of changed that around to came on a banana boat, a tribute to my people who came on a banana boat. And I think for me it was that, that idea of, um, my father, my parents coming to this, 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 this country for the wealth that it offered, you know, for, for the benefits, for us to be educated, um, but also that idea that um, there's a risk that we lose a sense of self. Um, and I think that that's what I was sort of brought up with in our home. So it was, you know, a very um, staunch Samoan household. So this is our um, stall at the um, Pasifika uh, Festival. Um, Vailima Way, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a street up in Eden Terrace. So I just want to acknowledge the Auckland Council for allowing me to, um, to borrow the sign. <laughs> it's not stolen. Yeah, right. Um, and then this is our work at, um, at the Otara Flea Market. Okay. Um, I was asked to present the, this work at a um, at a exhibition in Grafton. Um, we pretty much just took the the, the same tees, the same display, and put it in a gallery setting. Um, and then the, the issue came around when we were talking about price, because I, I, I sell these for twenty five dollars at the Otara Flea Market, and um, the curator at the time said, "Okay, how much are you selling your t-shirts for?" And I said. Ah, uh, 25. She goes, oh, um, we'll sell them at, at, at 50. And I said, ah, oh, no, we'll sell them at 25. Um, and it was, it was, for me, it was, it was that idea that these were the same t-shirts that I was selling at the Otara Flea Market. Um, all, all we did was just transport it to, you know, uh, central Auckland, and all of a sudden the value had, had risen. Um, and that discussion came up that, that look, uh, these are too cheap. Um, we need to, you know, up the value on these. That, um, you know, and it, for me, it was, it was, it, it sort of triggered a, a, a memory in my mind of, of whether um, a Samoan in Otara is the same, has the same value as a Samoan that lives in Rimuera. Um, whether we are the same people, um, 
regardless of what area we live live in and where we come from. Um, I, I I I sort of stuck to my guns. I didn't want to um, to to change that price. So yeah. Um, and then I, I translated those um, those t-shirt designs into light boxes. And this 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 work here is influenced by the the Maori maiden light box. You know, it was, it was that trigger between um, how we're perceived by the other, um, and then um, putting those onto graphic um, what perspex, and then putting them into a um, a gallery setting. So it was, this was at the City Gallery in Wellington, and then um, this is it at the Home OKL. Uh, I had a bit of drama with, with where this was situated. It was at the back entrance, and so you walk through one side and you, you come out, and this, my, my work was the last piece. And I said to, um, to Julia, who was, who was looking after the, 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 the show, I said, hey man, I just want to say, I think it's cool that my work is at the back because every time I walk into the classroom, the back is always where I sat. I always gravitated towards the back. And I think being being at the back of, of such a big show, um, for me, it pays tribute to everyone in front of me. Um, and, and, and knowing that, um, that until they were taken care of, then I would eat, then I would, you know, I would be the last one to, to you know, just make sure that, that everyone in front of me was, was, was taken care of. She got in a tizzy, eh? She was like, Selinga, your work is not in the back. It's in the other entrance. I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think you get my point. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm honoured that it's at the back, but I think, you know, somehow I got lost in translation. <laughs> I think I was, she, was, she was thinking I was, I was sort of a, taking a stab at her. <coughs> so then I started looking at my own environment, um, what was happening and, and, and how I sort of, you know, saw myself. Um, needless to say, my mum absolutely hated this body of work. <laughs> she said, son, do you know what you are doing? <laughs> but for me, it wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't questioning uh, the system. I was questioning the practice that, that, you know, that, that sort of takes us away from, you know, the essence of that system. You know, I'm a, I'm a, you know needless to say, I'm, I'm a true believer, but I'd rather be the, um, I'd rather be the, the, the questioning insider than the hating outsider. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still passionate about the course. <laughs> she didn't, yeah, she honestly didn't find this one funny, man. <laughs> she goes, uh, because they were, they were t-shirts with uh, where the other ones were, were canvases. So this was, you know, part of our stall at the Ottawa Flea Market. She goes, son, I, don't, I really don't want you selling these t-shirts, you know, because what does that say about our family? And I said to her, oh, but mum, the more of these that I sell, the more money I have to give back to church. <laughs> and she was like, oh. She said to me, ai kai, which means in Samoan, eat shit. Um, and then I started looking at um, advertising because I mean, when I when I went to to when I was at art school, my my end game was um, hey Janet, my end game was um, was I, I really wanted to be a, a sort of and and you know get into advertising, um, you know make that hundred k a year um, salary and um, but then it didn't. It sort of didn't work out that way. It's a, for me, I, I sort of just carved my own sort of space, um, and then talking to people that that I was doing work experience with, they just said, "Find your own way, man. You know, this is it, it, it's a cutthroat, you know, industry." Um, and then I, I, for me, I started looking at um, advertising and how you know, um, again, we we're being portrayed. Out here, finance. The only thing um, I changed in this. Um, and this advert is that number, 0800-382-563, which spells 0800-FUCK-ME. <laughs> and for me, it was that idea of, of, of getting screwed over, taking, taking advantage of, yeah, okay, White Sunday is a, um, is, is a real important sort of um, space for Pacific Islanders, um, but then waving, um, 
you know, a, a five thousand dollar loan uh, at thirty percent interest. You know, and for me it was it was real damaging. But sometimes um, I always say this to to my our own groups. I say, hey man, we sometimes we need to have the courage to say no. You know, that hey look, we'll make do and we'll 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 we'll, we'll survive instead of you know jumping on the Altia finance line. Um, yeah, it's sort of you know. For me, that was just that whole whole deal. Uh, this guy used to work. Just, this guy used to work at uh, my Samoan brother. He used to walk the Otara flea market every morning, and I'd see him walk past while we set up, and then I'll go out and get some float. And but I'd you know always walk past and say you know bless you brother. You know it's, it's, it's that idea of believing in a cause and um, and going hard, man. This is the uh, technologized version. So I have um, I have my my my, my other brother here, uh, and he's um, he's pulling across on a trolley, um, riding a bike with an eternity T-shirt, and um, bro, gold star for FLA. Look at that man. That's that's creative man. Um, and what I I think what I love about this was was the open home sign, you know. Open home, pointing up, you know. Um, but um, oh, he was. By the way, he was he was holding up graf uh, traffic at um, Green Lane, and I thought, oh, what a gangster, man. <laughs> but meanwhile, in my Samoan brain and how it operates, I was thinking, Balangi is eh? always take the easy way out. <laughs> but I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I, I, so I had to take the. I'm just so glad I I, I, I caught the shot. Um, so then I, I started looking at, instead of how I was being represented, r represented and how I wanted to pre present myself, I then started looking at my family as a, as, a, as a unit and how we were sort of like our practices and, and what have you. And it ties back to White Sunday. When I grew up, um, the KFC hadn't been built on Dominion Road, which is just down the road from our house. Um, so my dad bought the house, and then it was built a couple of years after that. So I think um, they built it there to be closer to our house. <laughs> um, but but KFC was was like, you know, um, I suppose it'll be like uh, you know going to a flash restaurant. You know, we only had it like you know a couple of times a year, maybe when when relatives came over from Samoa. Um, but I hate that I love this stuff. It's just like, you know, but it, it, it's become part of our sort of our, our practice. Uh, and so that's the kids are a little growing up there and, and one addition. Um, but then um, I sort of got this from um, what I wanted to highlight is the work in the background. Um, you would have seen the Soy 4 cardboard box. Um, so Soy 4 is a, um, is a mackerel label in Samoa. Tin fish. Um, so they catch the fish in the Pacific, um, take it away, can it, um, ship it back in, and we use the the tin fish for uh, funerals, weddings. You know, it's, it's part of um, um, our cultural makeup. Um, but what stings me is that um, there's another label, Taiyo. Um, their their sort of tagline is caught in the Pacific. And and what what the, what hurts me is that that that's fish that we would have caught for free, and instead it's caught in, in in our region, shipped away, brought brought back, and we have to buy the fish back. Um, and it was that 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 idea of of how technology does sort of uh, can get in the way of of, of who we are as a people. Um, if you look out into the sea now in Samoa, uh, maybe one or two canoes floating out um, and I talked to uh, another old man and he said when you park up in a pier uh, you used to be able to see like you know 40 50 canoes there so you knew that you know fishing was a big industry and now we just convenient now to, to, to buy the stuff back um, during my masters I then started looking at instead of looking at um, sort of the, the 2d two-dimension um, advertising and that, I looked at performance as a means of um, 
as a means of representing who I was. Um, so this piece, I'm um, um, ironing my overalls, and then I end up ironing after I take off my put on my overalls. Um, I start ironing my church clothes and put those on. Take the overalls off. Um, yeah, so it was it was based on um, on on how I present myself, um, you know, out in my space. Uh, this is uh, marching, still of me marching at Greyland Park. Greyland Park used to be um, uh, a, a mecca for uh, Pacific Islanders in the late seventies, eighties. We used to have our church games, and the church games would always finish with marching. Um, but uh, yeah, we're no longer there. Um, so this then is our um, our front. Our for me, it's a transitional space. Um, my mum always said that the space outside that front gate was the Balangi world. I could speak English out there, but when I came in, it was I was I was in my my Samoan space. Um, and so I'm, I'm painting. I'm sort of talking this with um, with my kids. Um, it's influenced by the arrival um, space at the Auckland Airport, where you walk in to wait for people, and there's big yellow lines with the um, keep clear sign. For me, it's, it, it's almost like that, that space um, where you haven't arrived in Aotearoa until you cleared that, that, that area. Um, and it's funny how people sort of observe that space. Uh, yeah, so this was sort of influenced on that. Some more performance works. Um, Oh, so the, these these um, these are oratory stuff. Um, it, it's what a matai uses to um, to speak on behalf of um, um, their, his his or her family. Um, so I attach them to um, the toilet cleaner, shovel, um, broomsticks, the plunger, the mop. Uh, for me, it was about service. Um, again, my mom was like, "Son, what are you doing?" <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but, you know, she didn't understand that idea of service. Oh, well, I, that way I, I sort of saw it. Senate rope. Uh, and then um, this was part of my final show. It's, it's um, they are 12 overalls um, representing the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 disciples of Jesus. But also in a... Um, when the, when the factory had shut down, all these overalls are hanging on the wall. Um, what I wanted to honour was that uh, each one of these overalls was owned by a person who helped uh, send money back to their family, built a church, helped out with their village school. Um, so for me, it was honouring that, 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 that sacrifice. Um, I think this will be the last slide. Um, this sort of looks at the idea of shame, how shame then becomes the marker that keeps us in line. Um, I've always had that, that real sort of, um, that, that um, I, think, I think that energy that, son, don't do anything that, that will bring us down and, and shame our name. And I think it's a shame when, sh when shame um, becomes the thing that stops us trying. You know, that stops us um, pushing it to that next level because I don't want to fail. And we have this whole thing of, um, of, of kids now, is that, you know, being epic failures, which I think, man, that there needs to be, you know, exterminated from, from our psyche. Um, I think I'll, I'll leave it there because... Um, uh, oh, one more. Um, so um, this has is, this is got to do with technology. Um, so... Growing up, I used to hang the washing, um, and it was my, my mom was like, "There's rules to the clothesline, you know. There's 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 ethics. There's you know codes and conduct and what have you. Um, all your undies go on the inside, or your t-shirts after that, you know, and 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 your your outerwear on the outside. And I'd question this continuously because I'd say to my mom, "Mom, but won't it dry the same, you know?" And she goes, no, son, 
this is the way you do it, you know. So there were always rules. Um, but she had picked up these rules in Aotearoa. Because in Samoa, there's one long line. And you just hang up your clothes on that line. There's no hierarchy. There's no, um, there's, there's no, you know, there's no, there's no rules. Um, just to sort of get to that point, um, a friend of mine um, helped get a Pacific Island 100% solar. I'm not going to name the island because, you know, you guys might connect to it. But um, so what happened was as soon as it went solar, right, people, before that, people would catch fish, come back, um, and there was no way of keeping that fish, so you shared it, you know. The whole idea of, of, of you know, is, is keeping up relations, and you, you, you just shared what you, what you caught. As soon as it went solar, people got refrigerators, got um, freezers, and then they started making excuses. Oh, we didn't catch that many fish, you know? Yet the, the, the freezer was full. Um, and on technology, I think, like, like what was said in, 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 in previous speakers, that we need to be the masters of this domain. We can't be the slaves. Um, and at the end of the day, um, what's most important is that we keep up the relationships with each other. Um, as soon as technology comes in, sometimes our relationships break down. You know, we, we stop, we stop, you know, talking to each other. We stop, you know, connecting. Um, but I mean, that's that's sort of where I'll leave it from here. Um, so my name is Silinga Davis Um Google me, I need the hits. But um, no, thank you for your time. You know, you, you guys could have been somewhere else, but chose to be here. So um, acknowledge you guys. Thank you.